Hi everyone! This week's set of videos are going to be about experiencing MIS Chapter 2. Last week we talked about information systems, which transform data into information and provide some amount of value to our company. And we were talking a lot about how good informations help organizations achieve their goals, whereas bad systems can hurt their organizations. We talked about creating them, pruning them, you know, removing some of the unnecessary aspects of those information systems and adding in necessary components in order to improve an information system. This brings up the question of what does it mean for an information system to be good? Well, it should be helping the company, right? But then how do we know if an information system really is helping the company? Information systems need to be based on an organization's goals, but then we need to figure out how we determine those organization's goals. Its goals are going to be determined by some sort of competitive strategy, the strategy that's going to make that organization succeed in its area of business or whatever other type of area that organization might be involved in. And that strategy is going to be created from an analysis of the structure of that industry that the organization works in. So really the idea is in order for us to even create information systems, we have to have an understanding of the structure of the industry that we're working in. The customers, the suppliers, the competitors, all of that kind of stuff. From there, we have to create the competitive strategy that our business needs to follow. And then we can determine the value change, the chains, the systems that actually generate value for our business. We then figure out the business processes, the methods by which we actually go about creating value. And then once we understand the business processes, we actually know what inf information systems we need and how we can create those information systems. So that's the idea of all the uh, videos, is understanding each piece of this structure. And once we understand every single piece, then we'll be able to tackle the question of how to create an information system. So in the next few videos, I'll go through piece by piece and discuss everything that you see in this overarching chart. 